So here we're looking at the female uh, plastic model, female reproductive organs, and we'll have a look at some of the urinary structures as well. What we're looking at here is, uh, firstly, let's turn the model around. So we're looking at an anterior and inferior point of view here. So what we can see, firstly, are the labia majora, and then internal to them, we have, and medial to them, we have the labia minora. Now, it's uh, probably a little bit easier um, to see them clearly if we pull the model apart so that we now have a mid-sagittal section. And here we can see the pubic symphysis here, the, the cartilage there that's in between the two pubic bones. We can see the bladder here. So here we have the bladder right in the middle. Now this bladder must have been empty because there's no space there for urine. So you can see the wall is contracted, fairly thick and muscular. We can see coming from the inferior aspect of the bladder, uh, we have the urethra. Uh, in females, it's short and straight. Uh, we then ha we have the urethra opening here into a little vestibule in between the labia minora. So this is the labia minora here and then the labia majora just here or external to that. Now also opening into this vestibule is the vagina. So we can see that there posterior to the urethra. So there's the vagina there. Notice that both the urethral orifice and the vaginal orifice open into this vestibule here between the labia minora. Now then um, the vagina ends here and here we have the first part of the uterus this narrow part here is the cervix. So the narrow neck part there, that's the cervix of the uterus, just that narrow bit there. Now the rest of it we're just calling uterus. So if there's a pin anywhere else there, the correct answer is just uterus. And notice that this uterus is ever so slightly expanded. And if we just have a look at the mirror image or the, the other side of the model and again sorry the blue tack here to help hold things together sorry about that notice that there is a little plastic fetus model in there so we can see the the narrow cervix here the rest of the uterus is just a little enlarged here a little larger than it than it would be if there was no fetus there okay so the uterus here cervix here and then vagina here now, also on, on this model, what we can see before we move away from this point of view is at the superior end of the labia minora, we can just see a little structure here. That's the clitoris there. Now, from this point of view, we can't see much of it. Remember, it is uh, a larger V or Y-shaped uh, structure. And we're just seeing the small part that you can see in the midline. So that's not the entire structure of the clitoris, that's just the small part that's visible in the midline. Remember there will be uh, uh, one part of it, one cruise running down the pubic bone this way and another one on the other side as well. But that's what we can see here. Clitoris there just inferior to the pubic symphysis there. Now then, if we just zoom out a little bit, what we can also see here we turn the model up so we're looking now from a superior point of view we can see there's a, a tube here coming off the uterus and that's the uterine tube and it comes around and turns a corner here so that there is the uterine tube and they used to be called fallopian tube so if you're familiar with that name that's what that is it's the uterine tube now and it's actually ending by attaching here onto the ovary. So the yellow structure there is the ovary. So ovary here, uterine tube, and then uterus here. 